Yo, New York Saints, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all welcome with us. Hey, mark it on your calendar. Once this channel receives over 1 million views in total, I, NY Felix, will be giving out five prizes to five different people. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you are already automatically entered. All you have to do is continue to comment these videos, like it, share it. And again, when this channel reaches 1 million views, I will draw names let's say if you have commented on multiple videos you have a better chance of winning and the prizes range from let's say tickets playstation games controllers etc so yankee fans let's talk about the yankees pitching plans there's a whole bunch of stuff out there suggesting that boone is okay with the current staff that he has once luis severino comes back obviously it's just a manager talking but as we all know, it's just a certified fact that the Yankees are going to go out there and obtain a starting pitcher and maybe a bullpen arm. So recently, there's been a lot of chatter about Robbie Ray of the Diamondbacks. My friend Pete has been talking about this guy for more than a year now. He wanted him more than Patrick Corbin. So let's talk about him for a second. He's a free agent in 2021 under control for about two more seasons just as the Yankees would like. He's also a left-handed arm, pitches around his fastball around 95 to 96 miles per hour, has a filthy changeup, but the only negative about Robbie Ray is that he doesn't really have control. Last time I checked, Robbie Ray was up there. I think he was number one in walks. Now, let's talk about a positive. Robbie Ray is tied or solely in second place for K's in the National League. Obviously, Max Scherzer is blowing everybody else away. But really, when you look at the stats, it's a whole bunch of pitchers neck and neck with each other. You got Robbie Ray, you got DeGrom, you got Strasburg, you got Corbin, you got Castillo, even Nola. So really, it's not a stat that really blows anybody away when you're comparing these pitchers with American League pitchers who are just in another league but that is a positive of Robbie Ray knowing that he's a left-handed arm and knowing that he has two more years of control not exactly two years but you know you get him for a playoff run then a full season but then thinking about his lack of control knowing that the Yankees are in a playoff run knowing that they are gunning for number 28 a guy that already walks a lot of batters you put him in the AL with the DH I mean, there's a whole bunch of power hitters in the American League. I mean, it's not a knock on Ray as Castillo from the Reds. They're pretty much tied for the most walks in the National League. It's not a knock on Ray. I know the potential is there. So in my opinion, I'm 50-50 on Ray. But my gut tells me that the Yankees are going to make a trade for Zach Wheeler. The only way I could see that is if the Yankees sign Wheeler to an extension. Put it like this, any picture that the Red Sox and the Yankees think highly of, there's something there. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying that Wheeler is a bum, but he has the stuff. The stuff is there. And teams like the Yankees and the Red Sox realized it. I'm just saying, that's my gut feeling. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the Yankees being interested in Robbie Ray? Do they pull the trigger? Who do they give up for Ray? And do you think with his lack of control, he'll make it in New York? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page, NYNews.com.